a city of 500,000 to 5 million in just 10 years. Kabul is in the midst of great growth as people from rural areas of Afghanistan move to the capital for greater employment opportunities. But with such growth comes a huge list of problems. And from garbage collection to bad roads, it's Kabul's mayor, Yunus Nawandish, that has to find ways to make an essentially unplanned city work. We have a problem here because the infrastructure of the city was not built. Yet. To build the infrastructure like canalization and water supply system, after the uh, completion of the city, it is difficult and very expensive, but we must to do that. Kabul municipality had long been considered the most corrupt department in the city. But since the last mayor was imprisoned on corruption charges, Mayor Nawandish has been key in improving Kabuli's perception of the department with his hands-on approach. Here is not completed. We have the green background here and we will be have green background here also. Pulling weeds with his own hands, the former civil engineer is a common sight on the streets, but he doesn't feel insecure. In a normal uh, situation, up to 10, 11 o'clock, I walk in streets and everywhere, but I think uh, the city is secure and we don't have problem of security. However, he does worry that events like the recent attacks on the U.S. Embassy in Kabul will put off private investors in the city. Since he started the job in 2010, Mayor Nawandish has increased municipality salaries to the hundreds rather than tens of dollars to decrease the effectiveness of bribery and corruption. He's also presided over kilometers of city roads asphalted, 1.5 million trees planted, and has plans to have all main roads lit at night. But his vision of Kabul as a modern city goes much further. And although Kabul has a fraction of the budget compared to modern cities, he won't cut corners. Visiting the construction of a playground, he doesn't put up with a shoddy job. With the hundreds of illegal settlements in the capital and an often overly complicated bureaucratic system, the mayor's job is not an easy one. But his personal drive, combined with visible signs of progress, have made his popularity rate soar. If he can keep his feet on the ground and his hands in the earth, he may achieve his dream of a green and modern Kabul. This is Ruth Owen in Kabul for the NATO Channel.